Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install PyTorch in an Anaconda environment and I'll also show you how to troubleshoot the PyTorch installation. I've received a number of comments where people are having trouble with uh, finding the installation. The first thing that we're going to do is to create an environment that we're going to use for PyTorch installation. So I'll say Conda create and here the environment, I'll just go to Torch. And um, I want to use Python 3.8 and I want pip to be installed in this new environment. So I hit enter here and uh, give it time. So I'll say yes here. So I increase the font size so that it's easy for everyone to see on the video because sometimes it's a little bit hard to see. Okay, so let's just wait for the installation to be complete. Okay, so now the installation is complete. So the first thing that we want to do is to ensure that we've activated our environment before we go to the installation. Sometimes people make a mistake just after creating an environment, they start the installation process. So the first thing is we have to activate our environment. So I called it Torch because we're going to install PyTorch. So as you can see here, the activated environment is shown here. I'm on a Mac, so this is a Torch. But on Windows and also Linux, you see nearly the same thing. So just here, if you want, you can check which modules are installed in this environment. So you can just say pip list and you see what's installed in this environment. So for now, you see that there are just uh, three modules that are installed, Setify, Pip, Setup, Tools, and Will. You can do the same even with Conda. You, you do Conda list and it will show you all the modules that are installed. Although with Conda, you see a lot more information. So let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. So the next thing that we want to do now is to install uh, PyTorch. So I'll just go to the PyTorch website. Uh, so now this is the PyTorch website. I'll put the link in the description. So what you want to do is to download the stable release. I'm on Mac, so here I selected Mac. And I want to use Conda for the installation, but you can also use pip if you want. And if you're on Linux, select Linux. If you're on Windows, select Windows. And uh, here, we're installing it on the CPU and this is Python. So Python selected here, but I'm on Mac. So I'm going to select uh, Mac here and I want to use Conda for the installation. So uh, it gives you this command that you can run in your terminal or in your command prompt if you're on Windows. So I just paste this link in, in the terminal and hit uh, install. So here I'll just say yes and uh, install all the packages. So just give it a bit of time to complete the installation and then I'll show you how to how to check for the installation. So the installation is now complete. So if you do conda list, we should be able to see a PyTorch installed. So if I do conda list, you see uh, this is Touch Studio, which was installed under Touch Vision. And if you scroll up a little bit, you see PyTorch is also installed here. So let me just uh, do that. So you see we have PyTorch here installed. We also have uh, Touch Studio and also have Touch Vision. So if you use pip, you can still do pip list and see the modules that are installed. So even with pip list, you see, you see uh, with pip it shows a Touch instead of PyTorch and then uh, Touch Audio and also Touch Vision. So this shows you that uh, PyTorch is installed. So you can check whether now, the next thing I think where most people are having trouble is now, after they complete the installation, is to find the actual installation of PyTorch or to use PyTorch. 
Uh, so now to check if PyTorch is installed, uh, we can do this uh, in several ways. So one of the ways is um, we just try to run the command just within uh, within the terminal. So we say import torch. So here, something important to note is, um, so if you're using pip, you see that this is a uh, torch, a uh, torch audio. So when you're installing it, you use PyTorch. So that's just to say uh, torch for Python. But once you want to import or to use the package in your Python, you really don't need to put the Py. It's just Torch. So just be careful when you import that you're not you're importing Torch and not PyTorch. So just run this command. So the C is to run this command. So if there's no error here, then the installation is uh, is okay. So just give it a bit of time. So if you see here that there's no error. So this means that uh, this is okay. Let me show you, for example, if had I put uh, PyTorch and we get the error because this module is not installed. So we see a no module named uh, PyTorch. So we have to be careful here that you're using Torch and not uh, uh, PyTorch. Or if you want, you can say Python minus C and import Torch. And then we can print the version of uh, PyTorch. So we can say torch dot version. So this is going to import uh, PyTorch, uh, which is Torch here, and then it's going to print the version of uh, of this PyTorch. And because I've put these commands in a single line, I had to separate with uh, a semicolon here. So that's uh, so we see the version that we have installed, which is 1.12. So this, um, uh, so through this, you can see that uh, PyTorch is correctly installed. Uh, another alternative you can you can use is just to say Python, so that you can go in the interactive shell, and once the interactive shell is open, you can then say import, import touch. And you see it has imported successively, so just say touch dot version if you're interested in seeing the version. And you see it's 1.12. So let me show you. Had I said uh, PyTorch, you see that it's going to give me an error, no module named uh, PyTorch. So this, so if you if you see any error when you run import torch, that means uh, there was a problem with, with the installation, but uh, this shouldn't be a problem. I think usually the mistake is um, installing PyTorch instead of Torch. And uh, if if here you put correctly Torch, but you still get an error, let me show you how you can troubleshoot this. If you get an error when you import, when you import a Torch, but uh, you believe that it's properly installed and spelled here, the few things that you can check for is first that you are using the correct environment where you installed uh, uh, PyTorch. So first things you, ch you check, um, you can check which Python you're using. So this is going to give you the file path of uh, PyTorch. So you see here that um, since I'm using a uh, Miniconda, so I'm using Miniconda 3. And in the environment, you see that we're using a uh, the Torch environment that we created. So this is the Python we're using. So here, make sure that this matches the environment uh, you use to install PyTorch. And if uh, if that is okay, uh, check the packages that are installed in your in your in in your Python. You can say conda list and um, make sure when you're using conda. Here it won't appear as Torch, it will instead appear as PyTorch. But just remember that when you are importing it, you have to import it as Torch. Or you can use pip list to if you are using a, a pip and check. When you are using pip, it will appear as Torch instead of PyTorch. So these are the three modules that we installed Torch, a Torch Audio, and Torch Vision. So if you have it showing here in your uh, pip list, then the installation is successful. So that's it for now. I hope you find the video helpful. And if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and 
if you have any problems that I haven't covered in this video, just uh, put the comments and I'm sure to answer all the comments. I might delay a bit, maybe by a few hours, but I'll definitely respond to all the comments. Thank you very much. Have a good day.